Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome back to Tech Plot. So today we're going to be taking a look at Razer's brand new products that they've just released. They've got a campaign called Raise the Level Cap going on right now and they've just announced three brand new products. A new keyboard, new mouse and a new headset. I got a few comments last night telling me like, Hey Em, what's your opinion on the Black Widow Elite, the new Razer Mamba wireless mouse and stuff? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, those aren't even things. And Turns out, they are. So there's a brand new keyboard called the Razer Black Widow Elite, which kind of looks like a Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard and a Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard had a child and this was born as it's kind of a mixture of both of the keyboards. We've got the multimedia keys, we have the multifunction like dial up in the top right as well. And then we also have some features like a USB pass-through, unfortunately only a USB 2.0 pass-through, but then we also have audio pass-through. I mean, it's kind of like a mixture of the two keyboards, minus of course the crazy underglow featured on the Huntsman Elite. But the Black Widow Elite isn't solely focused on RGB, that's mainly I guess the Huntsman Elite keyboard. And then because this is a Black Widow keyboard, we have the Razer Green switches to choose from, the orange as well as the yellow switches, so you've got three different switches that you can choose from. And you'll be happy to hear that the entire keyboard is made out of like a military grade uh, metal construction, I suppose. So just a nice like aluminium top plate probably for the entire keyboard. Good job there Razer sticking to like an all metal construction now for all their high-end keyboards. I'm glad to finally see that happening. And then at the bottom here, we also have an instant trigger technology. I have no clue what that is. And I don't think I saw anything here listed about the instant trigger technology, but you know, it's there. Apparently it's part of the tech specs. So yeah, pretty cool new keyboard. It retails for around $170 in the US. And of course you can get a variety of different switch types. Next up, we have a refresh for the Razer Mamba wireless mouse. It's basically this exact same mouse here, minus of course the Hyperflux charging technology, but it's basically the exact same thing. They have the exact same sensor, they both have the adaptive frequency technology built into them, you know, both 5G optical sensors. Basically the exact same mouse really, except for the fact that this one charges wirelessly and has no battery at all, whereas the one that's just been released has a battery that's rated for apparently 50 hours on a single charge. Now right here I've got the 2015 Mamba Chroma wireless mouse right here. And I think this one here had like a total battery life of like 16 hours probably. And I think the way they've managed to achieve 50 hours of battery life on a mouse like this is by eliminating all of these side LEDs all over the mouse. So it basically is this exact same mouse. There's just two LEDs, one on the Razer logo and one on the scroll wheel. So that probably saves a lot of battery life, allowing it to achieve 50 hours. Then of course we also have the adaptive frequency technology first introduced on the Razer Lancehead mouse that I have here. 5G optical sensor, exact same one that I have here. It's got onboard as well as cloud storage. Uh, for your profiles and stuff. Up to 50 million clicks, seven programmable buttons, you know, all that good stuff there. One thing I like to mention as well is that the weight of this new Mamba Mouse is 106 grams with a battery, bear in mind. And this one here, without a battery at all, weighs 96 grams. So there's only a, a 10 gram difference in between the mice there. And this one has a battery and the one I have here doesn't. So pretty impressive there. It's still a pretty light mouse, especially when compared to the previous generation Mamba wireless mouse, which this one here I think weighs around 130 grams, so quite a bit lighter. And you'll be pleased to hear that this Mamba wireless mouse retails for $100, which was actually quite a surprise to me as I did not expect this to be $100. The previous Mamba mouse, I think this one here retails for around $160 when it was released, but I have a feeling why this might have been so cheap is that there's no actual dock for the mouse. So the previous generation Mamba wireless mouse had a dock where you just place the mouse on top of here and it charges via these little contact points here. You pop it on there, the mouse charges, simple as that. But I think this one here, you can only charge by plugging in like a micro USB cable at the very front of the mouse there to actually charge it. But at least it has 50 hours of battery life, so you won't have to charge it every single night via micro USB cable, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, $100 for a Mamba wireless mouse with adaptive frequency technology and a 5G optical sensor is a pretty good deal in my opinion. Taking a look at the next product that they've released, it is a brand new headset called the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. Now featuring THX spatial audio, as well as custom tuned 50 millimeter drivers, delivering powerful bass and clear audio. And then you also have this inline controller, which is pretty cool. You've got game slash chat balance, over here, you've got bass control over here, you've got the fancy THX spatial audio toggle right here as well, as well as of course the mute microphone button and the volume controls to increase and decrease the audio. Scrolling down, you've also got some new cushions, I guess. These are cooling gel infused ear cushions that reduce heat buildup and stuff and I guess prevent you from sweating as much whilst you game. It's got memory foam as well as hidden indented eyewear channels, allowing you to wear glasses without any strain on your head, I guess. 
ultra soft headset padding and aluminium frame as well for enhanced durability as well as some cramping force to I guess keep the headset on you at all times whilst you play your games and stuff but yeah pretty cool controller pretty cool new headset it's not only available in the color green by the way you can change the color to black if you want to go for a more stealthier look I suppose and not just like crazy razor green you can buy the headset for around a hundred dollars on the razor store but i guess maybe not it was out of stock it's been sold out already but yeah if your 50 millimeter drives it's forced cross platform play as well it's got an ultra durable kevlar reinforced cable pretty cool stuff there cross-platform compatibility allowing you to use this for consoles as well you can plug the headset into devices like your phone for example via a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or you can plug the headset into the little thx little dac i guess here and plug it into your pc via a usb port instead but apart from that that's pretty much it for the headset that's pretty much it for all the new products that have been released the headset retails for 100 dollars available in two colors uh, but apart from that they've also got like a cool new keyboard that they kind of i guess teased here i'm not entirely sure what keyboard this is i think i can get a better image of it probably like right here so Razer also showcased this keyboard in the image now I'm not entirely sure what keyboard this is and I don't know if I'm like going crazy or something but this isn't a regular Black Widow keyboard this isn't a V1 this isn't a V2 it's not the Black Widow X either I believe it's a Black Widow but I don't think it's been released yet so I'm guessing this might be like a cheaper Razer Black Widow keyboard, maybe a new Black Widow Ultimate keyboard that might be released. I don't know, but this looks pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure it might be a keyboard that is going to be released in the future. Or maybe I'm just going crazy and this is just one of their old keyboards that I've never seen before. But I think that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all these items here that have just been released from Razer. But yeah, apart from that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.